Hi guys, following my recent live vlog from the Pass Beach in Byron Bay, Australia, many of you have asked about my live filming rig, how I manage to live stream and record a higher quality version which I uploaded afterwards. So this video is all about my mobile live streaming rig. Welcome to Byron Bay on a beautiful morning. Now first up, if you've not watched both the low res stream and the high res edited 1080p version, you should probably do that first. I should just say that my humble smartphone is the workhorse behind my live stream. And that means that my live video quality will only ever be as good as my bandwidth allows, which from a beach, for example, can be limiting. There are some dedicated hardware streaming solutions available like LiveU Solo that can bond together multiple data streams and provide a higher quality live video to YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, etc. And I might review that in the future. But my rig is simple. It reliably streams and it delivers a second higher quality version, which gives viewers a reason to come back and engage with my channel again. So let's have a look at what makes up my rig. At its core is the Lockheed camera cage and shoulder mount. This is a super compact and configurable solution, which is ready to use in all kinds of setups. Now I've reviewed this rig in more detail on my channel. It's also featured in my camera bag video. So maybe you can go and check those out. So as I've stated, my smartphone is at the heart of the mobile streaming part of this setup. Now there are numerous ways that I could connect it to my rig, but I chose this Joby mount because it enables you to move the phone into a number of different positions. I also use this KTA tripod adapter, that's the, the kind of goldy orange thing you can see on the rig, made by the American company Connect. It's a really high quality aluminium mount and it stops any vibration coming through into the phone. What you're aiming to do is to try and get the lens of your smartphone and the lens of your camera in relatively the same position. Point to note, in this setup I've attached a deaf digital clip-on wide angle lens to my iPhone. Now I didn't actually use this in my live beach stream, but it is an add-on worth mentioning. Okay, so here it is with the wide angle lens on the Honor 8 Pro, and you can see the lens does distort the image a little bit. It's hazy around the outside. I'll just take the wide angle lens off, and you can see it's a much clearer image but nowhere near as wide. And here's the Sony footage, and you can see it's a very similar format to the Honor 8. Now, I want to quickly introduce you to the super compact and versatile Lytra LED light I use on my rig. I plan to properly review this in the future for a GoPro vlogging rig idea I've got, but suffice it to say, this light is indestructible, it's waterproof, and it can output in three intensities, including an impressive 800 lumens. Obviously, sound is a very important consideration when you're streaming outdoors. Wind noise can ruin a stream or a recording. And I looked at several solutions before zeroing in on a setup. I use a Zoom H1 to record everything. It's a great backup, and I have a rather natty and cheap way of making your own wind muff for the H1 using a soft toy from a charity shop. I mount it using this Lytra cold shoe ball mount and simply record everything so I can rely on the H1's wind-free recording for the final high-res upload. I also have the option of a Rode VideoMic Me, which I've purchased. Now this is a simple directional mic for smartphones. That rear socket, by the way, is for monitoring your audio on headphones. Here's a quick sound test. My Sony first with a bit of DIY fluff on the mic. Well, it doesn't get much windier than this.
Well, it doesn't get much windier than this. Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't get much windier than this. The zoom audio needs pushing up in the edit, but it's certainly the best of the three in windy conditions. Although that pink fluff stuck on my Sony does a surprisingly good job. As you may already know, there are various apps that enable you to stream live to your YouTube account from a mobile phone. But I use YouTube's own. It's super simple. Hit the go live button. Enter your title. Choose to make your stream public or not. I'm choosing unlisted just for this demo. There's a few other options you can choose. You snap a quick thumbnail. And then you're live. So, you get the idea. This speech is called the pass if you want to look it up. Jack, the only thing is, a poor data connection equals reduced video quality. Hence the pixelation in my live stream. Now, as I said earlier, I'm going to investigate other hardware solutions. But in some ways, a quick and easy low quality stream can be an invitation for your audience to come back and watch a quality recording at a later date. And let's see if you can catch one more wave before I finally log off. I decided I wouldn't do a great long one today just because it puts pressure on the family and the kids, you know, they understandably uh, get a little bit nervous about what they're going to say live and so on. It's been brilliant. I've loved every second of this. And that's it, a rig for streaming and recording for YouTube or indeed Instagram or Facebook, whichever platform you prefer. If you've got any questions, please share them in the comments. If you stream yourself, tell me about your setup and let us all know any tips and suggestions you might have. And if you're feeling generous, please like and subscribe.